Hey, good morning. Jared from Southern Homesteads here. I'm super excited. Today we are finally putting up one of our cabin kits at our own property. Beautiful morning. I'm going to try not to sniff through the whole thing. It is cold out here this morning, which in the south is something we are not used to. A uh, couple of features on the kit that I just want to go through. Everything is, is bundled up and in small enough pieces here that you can take these anywhere and they can be built anywhere. Everything is labeled, it's cut to length, it's ready to go. We are a half mile deep into the woods here. We went ahead and uh, cleared out a little spot back here, one of our favorite spots, and we're gonna put this cabin up as a little hunting cabin, a little camping cabin back here for, for our own family. So we're gonna walk through some tips and tricks for installing one of these to make it simpler. You know, you don't have to have a ton of construction experience coming into this. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to worry about hey, I don't think I can do it. I promise we can walk you through this. So a couple of things, here's your directions. We're gonna start with our foundation laying that out. Now, you see on the directions here, we've got a full layout for where our holes need to be. And actually, let me back up here and, and show you, this is the site that we're gonna put it. And what you'll notice is it's not perfectly level. That's okay, the building is up on posts. We left this with a crown, so any water that would come in would go ahead and drain off. We're in an area that gets a tremendous amount of rain. And so we go ahead and, and, and leave it at that, and that's, that's fine. We'll level out our building on top of it. We don't, you don't have to have the ground level uh, in between. The, the reality is you could put one of these right on the side of a mountain if you chose. Uh, it, it's, you have that flexibility with the post length. So, for us, it's pretty close to level. We're probably falling off about a foot in, in each direction. Um, but so we are gonna walk through on how we set one of these up and how you can make it easy. You know, sometimes when you look at a, when you look at a schematic or a layout and realize that all of these holes have to be in a location, this has to be square so that, that your post can go in the right spot. We're gonna show you how you cheat that and don't have to, don't have to worry about it. So, First things first, we walked out here, and if you can see the yellow flags in the background here, we went ahead and staked out where our, our uh, cabin is gonna be. And there's a couple of things that we took in mind. Not only the terrain here, but the orientation of it. At some point, we'll probably put solar onto our roof and, and wanna do a roof mount. In order to do solar, we need to be facing south. So we took a compass out here and we oriented this building Till we were due south and and so for us it didn't matter uh, as far as that orientation went but for long term it's a big deal is as far as mounting solar and being able to to use solar so we've gone ahead and we've run a string line right now we are only going to worry about this center line of posts that we're setting not going to worry about the other two sides and we'll show you why later so we're going to go ahead and and dig those four posts so what we've done is we found the center of our building here we went ahead and, and ran a string line and if you want to just come with me just take a look at this. so just to show you in true homesteader fashion we got a half mile deep into the woods to realize we didn't have any stakes with us so we just went ahead and grabbed a couple of sticks we ran a string line across where it's gonna be the center of the building. We went ahead and marked our corner with a flag. You can do this with paint, you can do this with sticks, you can do this with, with whatever you have. We use marking flags or landscape flags are called. So 78 inches apart from center, from flag to flag here. We're 80 inches in the center. We're another 78 over there. Now, in digging these holes, there's a ton of options out there. If you have a, a post hole digger, uh, a gas powered one, great. Use it, you're probably gonna have to widen the hole. We're looking for an 18 inch hole, 24 inches deep is how we're gonna go. Uh, if all of you have is, is a hand post hole digger, that's great too, uh, it's fine. We are actually gonna use a skid steer with an auger on it. That's the tool we have and, and, and we have it available to us and it cuts down some time. But don't worry about thinking, hey, I need to go rent equipment. I need to have something sophisticated. Just a normal post hole digger is just fine to dig these. But we're gonna go ahead. 
I'm going to jump in the skid steer. We are going to auger these holes and we're going to start showing you how to lay out your center beam. Okay, now that we've gotten our holes dug, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we cleaned up those holes just using a hand post hole digger, got any loose dirt out of them. And now we have filled these with gravel. So this is what they call drainage stone. We just buy it at Home Depot or Lowe's or your local landscape supply. And we've put approximately four inches of that into the hole. Now we're gonna wanna tamp that gravel down to make it, to make it stiff. So, this is a <clears throat> now the point of the gravel down in the bottom of that hole is that any water that gets down into that post doesn't sit and rot what it does is allows that water to drain out through the bottom of the hole and and keep keep our posts preserved so we're going to go ahead now. We've got all four of these holes already done. We already put the gravel in there. We've already got them tamped. We're going to go ahead and put together our center beam and go ahead and get that cut and set in place. So let me grab kit number uh, two and kit number three, and we'll get started on that. Okay, now we're opening up kit two. And in kit two, there should be two two by eights that are 93 inches long and two that are 144 inch long and then four six by sixes now these are going to be our center beam so what we're going to do is take the 93 inch the first one and lay it directly on top of 144. we're going to line up this end so it's flush and i'm just going to throw a couple of screws in it for the moment um, the nice part about screws is if you decide hey i didn't like what i did you can always undo it so we're gonna throw two down here And we'll throw these two. Okay, so we've got those stuck together. Now we're gonna take our next 12 footer, and this gets a little bit tricky because we don't have a long surface to work on. All of this gets easier once we've got the floor set in, but that's why we're building the beam so we can get that done. So we're gonna take the 12 footer out from underneath this. Now, we're gonna slide this all the way down. We're gonna push this tight with the 93. Okay, we're gonna line it up. I'm gonna go ahead and put one screw down on this end just to hold it in place. Okay. Come over here, do the same alignment. Throw two more screws in this. Again, these screws are just to temporarily hold it. We're gonna come back with a nail gun and attach them permanently, but let's make sure we like what we've got. Together. Now we're gonna roll this over. Go ahead and just set your other end on the stack there, Hayden. Okay. We're gonna take our last 93 inch piece. And we're gonna butt that up. How do we look? Okay. 
So we're going to throw a couple more screws in it. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and check our overall length. We should be three inches shy of 20 feet. So at 237, just about a 16th of an inch under that, which is totally fine and within what we need. If you were a little bit long, this would always be trimmed, but a, a hair short, that's okay. A hair long, if you're within an eighth of an inch, that's, that's totally acceptable. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and put nails in this beam and permanently secure it. This is now gonna be our center beam. So we're gonna put two nails about every foot going down this whole beam. We're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing again from the other side. One of the fun parts about doing projects on the farm, everybody gets to get involved, so. Okay, so our center beam is now done, so we're just gonna set this to the side for the moment. So go ahead and grab that. We are now gonna open kit three. Now kit three is just some two by fours and these two by fours are gonna be reused over and over and over again as, as we go on here. So we've already broken this kit up and it's just 10 two by fours. Now we're gonna use that to stilt our beam. We're gonna set this beam for us about 18 inches, actually probably go closer to two feet off of the ground. There is no magic height. It's a decision on how high we want our staircase to be in the front is all we're deciding there. So. We're gonna leave ourselves ample room to get underneath there if we ever had to get underneath there, but we're not putting it too high. So now we've moved our beam over to where we're gonna install it. And we've got some of these two by fours here. So I told you we're gonna set it 18 inches off of our, off of the dirt. So we're gonna go to our, our highest point in the dirt. I'm gonna measure 18 inches down. Now I'm just in between my two front holes there. So we're gonna go 18 inches. I'm take my screw gun. I'm gonna throw one screw in this right now. Okay. Now, we're gonna go ahead and stand this beam up over the hole. So go ahead and grab that end. Okay, so, yep. Now, we're gonna take a level, set it on our beam, and we're gonna put a second stilt. On the end. and push down uh, let up a little bit right there okay so one of the things to consider on this this is one of our critical spots uh, this is going to define how level your floor is inside the building so we're perfect on that end we're gonna Now, right now, this beam without any supports is going to bend just a little bit, and that's okay. So, go ahead and pick up. Got that. Come down a little bit. A little bit more. Okay. Now, we're level. 
all the way across this beam, but obviously it's not standing up on its own. So we're gonna go ahead and do an adjustment here. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead, let's put the level on that stake. Uh, other direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go with that two by four. Right. And then we'll grab one more. I'm gonna throw that on the other side here. We're gonna go ahead and throw one more in each end here. Actually, a little bit off on this hole. We need to pick up and move just a little bit. Okay, we're good there. Let's go ahead and check our level. Okay, so that needs to come up a little bit more. Take your time on this. Don't. Don't worry if you got to adjust a couple of times. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put another kicker on this. Let's go ahead and level this side. Go ahead and check this side one more time. Looks like our two by four is floating a little bit. That's fine. We'll readjust that. Yeah, it could come up just a little bit on top of that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this. Oops. Little trick here. You get a screw stuck because you drove it too far. Take another screw. Drive it part way to hold the board. Pull that one out, then you can pull your other one without issue. Uh, come down just a little bit, right there. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and throw one more. Now we just wanna make sure that this beam is straight. So what I've done, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. I've put one screw right in between those two posts on that end. Oh. I'm gonna do the same thing on this end here. Now right the crack between the two. I'm gonna pull the string line. I'm gonna tie it off. It's gonna tell us a couple of things. It's gonna tell us if we're having trouble on our Level and sometimes it's a little tough to keep them taut on the screw. We're gonna pull it down through the crack here. 
Okay, so now that I'm looking down this beam, we look good. We that that string line stays center of that crack, which is exactly where we want it as we're moving forward here. So let's go ahead and check our level one last time. Look great there. Check it in a few spots. Look good there. Yeah, I could stand to come up just a little bit on this end. So we're going to go ahead and pull this end up just a little bit. Um, so, so we're going to... Again, I got a screw buried a little too far, so I'm going to take a screw, run it in part way. Okay, we look perfect there now. Let's go ahead and check this back through. Since we've moved one thing, we need to make sure that nothing else moved. Little bit high here, so I'm just gonna okay, perfect. Now it's time to begin to set our posts. So, those six by six posts that we got, we're gonna take a measurement, we're gonna measure from the bottom of your hole to the bottom of your beam here. So we are 47 and three quarters of an inch. And I want this to be a pretty, pretty tight fit when we, when we do it. Okay. So we're going to cut our first post. So it's 47 and three quarters inches. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this 47 and three quarter. And I want to carry this line all the way around my post. Okay, got a line all the way around. Now we're gonna go ahead, cut this post off. That is not the most critical cut you'll ever make. So if you're a little uneven, don't worry about it. It's fine, it's gonna be buried down in the bottom of a hole. So we're gonna go ahead, drop this post into the hole, adjust it. <clears throat> this needs to be straight up and down and we're looking for the post into the center of the hole. So one of the things that's really, really important is that this, is, this post is flush with the end of the beam here. If it's sticking out farther than the end of the beam, we're gonna have problems with alignment on our floor. So we're gonna go ahead. So the bottom needs to come back out just a little bit.
Okay, we look good that direction. We're gonna stand this up. Yep, just go ahead and push the bottom over just a little bit. Again, we're watching our, our string line. It's still on there. We want to make sure that we're running true. Okay, we're straight that way. We're pretty good that way. Okay, we're flushed up on our end. Okay. Now that we've got our post in the ground, it's square. Our line is running true. Our post is running level. We're going to take a couple of structural screws. We're going to run these straight through the beam. Let's go ahead and check level one more time. Once this last screw goes in, we're not moving anything. Let's go ahead and kick that bottom out just a little bit. Okay. Good now. I want to check. Okay, we're good that way. And we're going to go ahead and lock this in with our second. Can we lock? Okay, our center beam is locked in to this post now. Let's go ahead and double check one more time. You cannot check this too many times. Make sure you're level, make sure nothing has moved. I look great. We're gonna go ahead and take a couple more scoops of gravel and put it around the bottom of the post just to make sure that we got a good pack underneath it. So grab a couple shovelfuls. Pack this one more time. Okay, now we are ready for concrete. So we're gonna go ahead and just cut our bag. We're gonna do what's called a dry stack on this, which means we're not actually mixing the concrete before we put it in the hole. Very common in our area. Some areas don't approve it. Uh, but that is the way that this this is going to go in so we can keep moving. So we'll just go ahead and split the bag And make sure we pour all the way around that hole I pack this really, really well. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and check level again on that post. We just wanna make sure as we're coming up, if it moves, we make our correction. Okay, pour that one on this side.
Okay, we got a good pack in there. Ultimately, we're gonna put one more bag of concrete on that. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and throw some water down onto this, let this start to soak in, and then we'll hit it with a, with a third bag. We're gonna continue this process through. So again, just a reminder, we are going to measure. So from the bottom of our hole, we're going to measure to the bottom of our beam. 44 inches on this one. We're gonna cut from the bottom of that notch, 44 inches, set it in, put a scoop of gravel around it, pack it with concrete, make sure we're straight, make sure we're flush, work our way all the way down. Now we have our center beam set. We've dry packed that in concrete. We've removed all of our supports off of it. It's done, it's solid, it's ready to go. If you are wet packing this in concrete, if you mixed your concrete before you put it in the holes, probably a good time to take a break for the night and let this set up. But with, with our dry pack, we're able just to keep going. So remember how I told you, we didn't need to do that whole layout all at one time, we'd be able to cheat it. Our center beam is level, our center beam is straight, now we can base off of that where we're gonna put our next post hole. So, a couple things to note. The distance to the back is gonna be different than it is to the front. Our post sticks back three inches. Our beam is not centered up on this post. So when we lay this out, Make sure that you're following the directions. Just take a look at the measurements. It's gonna be 66 and a half inches from the center of this post. That will get us the center of this beam to the outside and the center of this beam to the front side uh, will be the same. So don't worry about the fact that the whole layout is a little bit different. Uh, that's intentional to uh, overcome the offset of those posts. So we went ahead and screwed a two by four up to the outside of that post, which we know is square and straight. And we're just gonna have him, have him hold in the middle of that. I'm gonna measure out here, straight from this in the middle. 66 and a half inches. I'm gonna go ahead and hit my flag right here. Okay, we're gonna be about from the inside of this hole we're gonna be three inches off, okay? So three inches off that board at 66 and a half inches. So that's where I need to drill this hole. We're gonna go ahead and go down to the other side. Let's do the same measurement down here. So we're just gonna take one of our two by fours. We're just gonna screw it off. We're gonna measure from the center, that beam, 66 and a half inches. And I'm gonna come about three inches to the inside of that. Okay, that's where our other corner post is. Now, we're gonna do the exact same measurement that we did before. So we're 78 and a half inches to the center from the outside to the center. So we we'll go ahead, flag there. Inches. We're gonna go centered up here. We look good. And you could always run a string line across this to get these straight. But since we already have posts and they're set and they're straight. I don't need to, you can see we adjusted those holes if there was a problem. So we're gonna go 70 here. Okay. 
And I'm going to give you the center of that. Okay, so now we have our location, get that root out of our way. We're going to go ahead and, you know, we might as well just mark out the front. So we're going to go ahead and remove this two by four and we're going to move it to the front doing the exact same thing. Get our concrete bags out of the way. There we go. Now we are ready. We have officially marked where those other holes need to be. We're plenty square for right now. We can do any hole adjustment that needs to be done after we're ready to set the floor. So we're going to go ahead and fire up the skid steer, get everything out of the way, and get some more holes drilled. <laughs> Okay, now we have drilled the exterior holes that are laid out. We squared up off of our center beam. And again, if you're off a little bit, don't panic. You'll know in just a minute. And you can just hollow out the hole a little bit more and, and adjust uh, the amount of concrete you put in just to take up the distance. We are now going to start building. We're going to move into our kit four. We're going to start building the first section of flooring. So we're going to get that set. It'll actually rest on top of this uh on top of this beam here and then we're going to use those supports that we use to hold this beam straight we're going to use that to stand it up down the sides and we're going to go ahead and set posts now these holes we drilled them we filled them with gravel up the four inches just like we did on the other holes in in our center and we're going to re just repeat this process uh, for three sections of flooring here so we'll start with our first section which is going to be 12 foot wide and it's going to be eight foot uh, long. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that kit out. I'll be back in just a minute.